Freddie Owens. He's been very successful when he gets the ball. Take it inside. But Tucker will inbound for Wisconsin. To Harris. You see the clock winding down. Harris drives. Shot blocked. Officials get together. You see the clock winding down. Harris drives. Shot blocked out of bounds. It looked like they got D. Brown on the foul. And Mike Sanzier's going over. D. Brown is the call on the foul. Harris does the crossover, goes to the hole, beats him on the drive, goes up, and there you see, gets him on the on the left hand. And you see the officials going over to check the clock to see if there's enough time. Was there any time left on the clock when the foul occurred? And there you see right there, they're in the, the ice zone. They're taking a look at it. And let's take a look at it again. It looks like there's enough time on the clock. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds right there at 0.8. He's definitely. There was time on the clock. It looked like about four, four seconds on the clock when the foul occurred. They called D. Brown for the foul. And point four has been put back on the clock. And now Devin Harris goes to the free throw line. There you see the crossover. Luther Head has to go out and play defense. And there you see the foul by D. Brown, and he makes this shot. The grateful, the grateful Red is ready to bulge and run out on the floor. Devin Harris, Devin Harris with 12 points, a 77% free throw shooter. We had a feeling it would go down to the wire. We just didn't know it would come down quite like this. Harris, a chance to win it for Wisconsin. Tell me how much pressure's on this young man. Wow. If you're Illinois, if he misses it, you gotta make sure you block out. It's good. Point four to go. All Illinois can do is throw it up and hope it gets tipped. 60-59 Wisconsin. An improbable finish for two teams in a battle all year for the Big Ten Championship. Now, you know, unfortunately, someone's got to lose. I mean, both teams have, have just sold out. I mean, the effort that these guys gave, it's too bad someone's got to lose. And you see here the crossover by Harris. He goes up. Great move. Good recognition defensively. Illinois really extending themselves defensively. And then you see Harris, nothing but the bottom of the net. That's not string music there. No doubt about it. That was going right to the right, right through the net. This may be the only free throw all I like. Yeah. Well, for Illinois, you've got 0.4 seconds. And it's very difficult to get a shot off that quickly. It's more going to be a touch. Anything can happen. You've got to throw up the length of the court. The most important thing is, is the pass. And you don't have a chance to bring it back down. All you do is got a chance to tip it towards the basket. Well, I am not ruling anything out in this case <laughs> yeah. because there's time left on the clock. We've seen it all today. I mean, there's. Here we go. Sean Harrington. Needs to go full court on this pass. The 
looking for Cook. He's got it. Time expires. Shot no good. And Wisconsin is Big Ten champion. Sole possession of the Big Ten title for the first time since 1947. And here come the students. They've shared it last year. This year, they own it. A heartbreaker for the Illini. And you see what it means to the Wisconsin Badgers and Bull Ryan. And somewhere, somehow, we are going to try to find Bull Ryan and talk to him. Unbelievable finish here at the Cole Center in Madison. Devin Harris free throw with .4 seconds to go. Breaks a 59 all time. The Badgers win this one over the Illini, 60 to 59. There's Bo Ryan with his assistant coaches.